Okay, hi everybody, this is Lynn O'Shaughnessy of thecollegesolution.com and today I have a guest with me, Abigail Selden, who is the creator of collegeabacus.com, which is a great tool to use when you're um, relying on net price calculators. And I'm gonna, she's gonna give us a demonstration about what, on her site, collegeabacus.com, but before that I just wanted to explain, if you don't already know, why you should be using net price calculator calculators why it's a great idea. In the past, well still most families do this. Their kids apply to schools and then they wait around for months before they find out if their child has been accepted to a college or university and if they've gotten any scholarship money or need-based aid. And by the time they figure this out or find this out, it could be within a month or a few weeks of having to decide where a child's going to go to school. And this is okay unless the verdicts you get back from all these uh, admission packages are bad. You know, what if this happens all the time? A child applies to a school, falls in love with a school, and then they find out in March or April, gosh, guess what? The school's taking you, is accepting you, but not giving you any money or not giving you a lot of money. And then the kid is upset, the parents are freaking out, they're contemplating cashing in some of their retirement money. It's just a big mess. So that doesn't happen to, hap to happen anymore because of net price calculators. With net price calculators, you can look and see what the price will be for your family, an est a personal estimate of what any school will cost for your family well before your child applies for schools. In fact, that's what I would suggest is use these net price calculators before you know your child falls in love with any schools. And you can find the net price calculators on every school's website okay, that participates in the federal financial aid program, of which almost all of them do. Um, and then besides just going to each website to try out each calculator, you can go on College Abacus and get them all. I mean, I think Abigail refers to her site as like the kayak of college pricing. Um, and this is really, I think, yeah. net price calculators are revolutionary and College Abacus is making the process of using these calculators even, I mean, even easier. So I'd love to um, introduce Abigail. And Abigail, do you want to talk a little bit maybe uh, about what, you know, why people should use your website? Absolutely. So thanks for having me on your Google broadcast. Sure. <laughs> um, so, you know, for the net price calculators, one of the things that made us want to build College Abacus is that it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to go through most net price calculators. Any calculator that's really any good at all will ask you for tax information about your household income, possibly about your students' grades, and they often have these warnings up front that this will take 10 to 15 minutes. And so to go through that process for 10, 20 schools will take you 10, 20 schools times 10 minutes. And so now you can search all of those schools with Javicus with one 10 minute sprint. So it's still not instantaneous, but you are able to get those results easily and to save your information. Okay, great. So um, maybe you could give us um, and basically, how many schools, Abigail, do you have on College Abacus? Just over 4,000 now. Okay. Um, and that 4,000 includes uh, currently the top 200 schools as ranked by U.S. News and World Report. Right. So you do have a service where if you don't want to go and, and pull up every, um, the net price of every school, you could actually pay and get a list of the top 100 liberal arts colleges are the top hundred um, universities as ranked by US News. That's correct. Right now you can search three schools at a time for free on College Abacus and you can search three schools at a time forever as many times as you want. Um, but you also have the option of purchasing Abacus 100 which in which we send you a spreadsheet that includes your personalized estimates for the top 100 colleges or the top 100 universities or both. So this is particularly well suited to folks who want to send their child to a selective school but need to know how much it's really going to cost right. beforehand. Yeah, which would be a real time saver. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, now, before we, you know, you give us a demonstration, one thing that I would love for you to talk about are the federal calculator, the, the calculators that have, rely on the federal template, which are, in my experience, pretty lousy. 
So yeah, talk about them and also how many calculators out there are using the federal template? Absolutely. So about a little more than 50% of all the schools out there are using the federal template, which is unfortunate, but it is free and it is easy to install. So um, that I think explains the schools. Part. Yes, yeah. those yeah, schools right. are easy <laughs> to install. Um, the federal calculator has a couple of weaknesses. Um, its primary weakness is that it only asks one financial question. Um, this can be attractive to parents because it means it takes about 20 seconds to complete. But from an accuracy standpoint, it leaves a lot to be desired. All schools, whether they um, meet full need or not, ultimately use the FAFSA to determine how much financial aid that they're going to give you. Now, as you've talked about in previous broadcasts, many schools still gap students and leave sometimes a large gaping hole between what your EFC is and what your institutional aid is. Uh, but schools still figure that out with the FAFSA. And the FAFSA asks more than one question about income. It asks a lot of questions, in fact, about assets and, um, and taxes. And so for families that basically make more than thirty to forty thousand dollars a year post tax I think you should really take those estimates from the federal calculators with maybe not even a pinch of salt maybe an eighth of a cup of salt right okay <laughs> and um, and so one of the things we've done is we've marked on our results page which schools are using the federal calculators so that way families know to take that right a little less seriously right. that's great okay well Abigail maybe you could Show us, um, you know, what College Abacus looks like. Give us something. Absolutely. Something. So let me set up this screen share with you. Okay, Lynn, can you see it? Um, yeah, now I can. Yes. Excellent. So we've preloaded this profile um, for a family of four. Uh, which makes a household income of about $75,000 a year and has about $300,000 in assets, including home equity. And so we've put in Amherst, Harvard, and Princeton. So this is through the free search that you can go to do the 100 here. Let's click Let's Get Started. Because we've preloaded this with um, a profile, you, you don't see these questions that you have to go through, which is typical for a returning user. As I said, you enter your information once, maybe some supplemental questions, and, and then how, you're done. Uh, Abigail, how long does it take to enter all the information? Because you have to provide enough information that will cover all of these calculators. That's correct. So it takes about 10 minutes. Okay. Um, and you should have your tax information handy. Um, mm -hmm. We try to keep it as short as possible, and we're constantly refining it. Fundamentally, in order to provide the same results that the colleges provide, we need to ask, or rather, we need to collect the same information that they collect. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, great. so here are the results for Princeton, Harvard, and Amherst, and I've organized them um, in um, from lowest to highest by estimated net price. Um, what's interesting, of course, about these schools is that. While they all have tremendously high sticker prices, around $60,000 a year, they actually vary a bit in your estimated net price. And of course, the estimated net price is about a fifth or, um, or a little more of what the sticker price is. Right. And I think, you know, if you, if um, the, the, I mean, this example, the family makes 75000 but if they were actually making, with $300,000 of, of Assets. If it was, you know, more in line with what probably you'd think of seventy-five thousand, you know, what people who earn seventy-five thousand would have in assets, the aid uh, offers would be, you know, even greater, much greater, actually. For these three schools, absolutely. Yeah. Um, that's not true of all schools, though. That's which true. Is one oh, of yeah. The yeah. Right. Why it's important to search. Right. Um, but one of the other nifty features, which we'll show, is that we do show the breakdown here, which is provided by the schools, mm -hmm. of how they came to their total cost of attendance, which is the sticker price. And over here we show how, which calculator they're using. So Princeton has built its own calculator, um, which as a company we think is a pretty good sign that they're taking it seriously. Right. Um, 
Harvard also has its own calculator, and Amherst is using the College Board calculator, which is also very thorough. Right. And wouldn't you say that, I mean, the calculate the vendors who you could, are more reliable for yes. calculators I would be the College Board, Student Aid Services? Um, um, my general rule is that if the school has a name branded calculator, even if it's not one you recognize, mm -hmm. it means that they've paid somebody to do it. Mm -hmm. and those invariably ask more questions yeah. than the federal version. So I guess um, that's one thing you could see is are they asking a lot of questions or is it the federal, you can often tell the federal calculator uh, because one, it, as you said, I think it takes it takes like 20 seconds to do one yeah. of the, I mean I've used American University, NYU and it's, you're, it's over in a, a flash. Yes, and you won't be able to tell that from College Abacus if you search, let's say, Princeton and American together, because mm -hmm. we'll ask you the questions required for both. Right. So speed won't be an indication. But the indication you'll find is when you click Details, and you look over here to see what kind of calculator it's using. Right. And so if, it, if a school is using the federal calculator, that should be a big heads up to families. Right, right. Um, and what you say in general, you, know, you said about over half of schools, over half of schools are using the federal uh, template. Can you generalize about what kind of schools those are? Absolutely. So those are disproportionately schools that have um, that are two-year schools or for-profit schools. Um, there are, as you mentioned, a number of four schools that. Do, and even high-ranking four-year schools that use the federal calculator, but they're the exception, not the rule. Mm -hmm. okay. So, for example, in the top 200 that that we have in the Abacus um, 100 products, only 20 of those schools ha are using the federal calculator. Okay. All right. Great. Okay. Well, thanks for that demonstration, Abby. Do you want to put yourself back on the uh, on your screen, your picture? Absolutely. Okay. Um, though before I do that, we yeah, have a little plug for our, our videos. Um, oh, they're okay. animated. They're a minute long. Um, you know, they're available on our website. Okay. So that that just shows you how to use the calculator, then. Exactly. It explains a little bit about what it is and how to use it. Okay. So, um, any final advice about using these net price calculators for families? I guess I would make two points. Um, one is to use them early. Um, as you said earlier, the best time to use it is before your child falls in love with a school. Um, the, there are a lot of great schools in the United States. A lot of them are very similar to each other, so figuring out how much it's going to cost is probably just as important as whether it offers lacrosse. Mm -hmm. um, and then the second is that it's like your seventh grade pre-algebra teacher used to say, garbage in, garbage out. If you put the wrong numbers into the equation, you will get incorrect results. Mm -hmm. So the best thing you can do to get an accurate result is not just to look for schools with good calculators on college abacus, but also to make sure you really have your tax returns hand mm -hmm. when you fill it out. Mm -hmm. That's great advice. So I want to thank uh, Abigail from the college, or College Abacus for coming on today. I urge everyone to check it out. Um, and because I think if you were looking for ways to shrink the cost of college, using net price calculators are really essential because there are, as Abigail said, there's a lot of different schools out there. Um, they might seemingly seem the same, but their financial aid and merit scholarship policies can be all over the board. So there are very stingy schools out there and very generous schools and those in between. And really the only way you're going to find out which is which is to use net price calculators. So that's it for today. Thanks for uh, watching.